we have mostly left the artificial intelligence parts of the conversation and we're now about blockchain and Bitcoin. To start us up, I would like to welcome our lead sponsor, Danny Oyekon, representative of Danny Holdings. Please welcome him to the stage. Dan Holdings is a leading blockchain and fintech investment firm. Its mission is to act as a powerhouse for widespread blockchain and fintech adoption and innovation, creating a sustainable legacy by devising technology-based solutions. I didn't lie. <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. Um, Dan Holdings is... Uh, is your mic on? Dan Holdings is a blockchain-focused firm. Uh, we have been in business for about uh, close to two years. And uh, we focus on mass user adoption of the blockchain technology uh, in Africa. And we also focus on fixing data privacy issues with decentralized databases and decentralized technologies. I'm a bit interested in the investment part of, of Danny Holdings. So when you say you're an investment firm, what are we? So Dan Holdings has a subsidiary called Dan Ventures, where okay. we invest in early stage startups, um, ranging from mostly blockchain startups and also um, renewables and AI startups Okay. globally. So we're about to get into the Bitcoin blockchain section of, of the event. So tell us, please, why is blockchain important to Africa or to Nigeria? Um, if you think it's important and, and tell us why. Blockchain is very important and to Africa for the, because of the use cases blockchain can offer to Africa. Um, blockchain can offer transparency, auditability, uh, and safe record keeping to government and private sector enterprises. So let's just be a bit more specific because we have financial service firms here. We have, mm -hmm. I think, some other investment firms. We have Bitcoin. We have Patricia, for example. Mm -hmm. How would Patricia, are they competition or are they people that you would provide services to? Well, we work closely, we we'll work closely with any um, blockchain firm. Uh, we work closely with a firm like Patricia because I loved uh, seeing the Bitcoin debit card for this market because it's something I've looked into before. Okay. Uh, and I personally had use cases uh, with it. When we had our recession in 2016, uh, we had, uh, there was no way for people to access financial services. I had uh, a portfolio of Bitcoin and I used Bitcoin to, in my daily life. So that has been, that was very interesting for me to hear. Okay, so you keep bringing up use cases. I want to talk about use, we've talked a, a bit about use cases in the education sector mm -hmm. and some health. Just from personal experience, what are some use cases um, that you, like personally, that you've, you've had or that Dan Holdings has seen because you're in the industry a bit more? So uh, use cases uh, range from, you know, remittances, uh, de decentralized finance, um, you know, health medical record that that that's we're going to continue seeing more adoption we are at the very 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 start of adoption in africa okay so we had a talk before um ubenwa had a talk a quick lightning talk and was telling us how we're using some artificial intelligence for um in the health industry mm -hmm. and you just talked about transparency and said that the medical industry is also a place where we can use blockchain mm -hmm as well, please explain, because I thought it was for artificial intelligence guys, and now you said blockchain guys are involved as well. Well, how we so get how involved we... is the record keeping and safeguarding of your records. They crawl the data, where do they keep it? <laughs> I okay, yeah. I see. So we, we protect the, the, the uh, data on decentralized databases and what, so on. Okay, so I want to understand this decentralized database just a tiny bit. Um, when I'm putting something on Google Cloud, I know where I'm going to go, for, like it's in my Google Drive, right? When you say decentralized, where am I going to find my information? So there are two, I would say there are two segments. So when you're talking about Google Cloud, you're, you're, are you referring to Google Drive? Are you putting your yeah, documents? Where you put your documents? So I was going to put you on the spot. <laughs> so yeah, um, to be fair, um, we 
use decentralized databases. For example, take the take, take question of AWS, for example. A AWS, you pay your server costs, they, have, they, they are centralized, so they still have access. And we, we use data, the, the decentralized databases to secure that. We make sure that we, we as an organization, we do not have access to any, any data. We cannot be hit with uh, any regulations. Uh, about you can't data. be hit with any regulations. Yeah. I mean, you can see our database and you can check it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess we've come to the end of our session, unfortunately. Yeah. But you do have a stand in the back. And yeah. anybody can come have a conversation about investment opportunities and yes. just what Dan Holdings is doing yeah, in sure, Nigeria. Sure. And yeah. also our products, Telechat, CoinsApp, and uh, Blockfinex. You guys should please go to the Dan Holdings desk. They have goodie bags as well and are looking to talk to you about investments in blockchain. Thank you very much, Dan. This was fab.